an earthquake, volcanic eruption, or landslide under the sea, or at the coast, can cause a giant wave called a tsunami. As these waves make their way towards land and move into shallower water, they can build to enormous heights, posing a dangerous threat to coastal communities. They are also dangerous to ships, infrastructure, and people in coastal waters. Tsunami early warnings can help save lives and protect property. Early warnings include all the processes involved in detecting, analyzing, predicting, and warning people about an unexpected tsunami so they can make better decisions. In a large number of countries, national meteorological services are responsible for gathering observational intelligence, analyzing data, running ocean prediction models, and issuing national tsunami warnings. The highest proportion of all tsunami warning centers are operated by these national meteorological services. This information is automatically shared with other national agencies that undertake tsunami warnings. UNESCO's Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission is responsible for the international coordination of tsunami warnings. And the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, collaborates closely to support these efforts. Both IOC and WMO are continually working to build the capacities and capabilities of national meteorological services to ensure they can provide tsunami warnings that are timely, accessible, and easily understood. To transmit tsunami advisories and early warnings, the WMO information system is an important communication system that is widely available and used by national meteorological services and other national agencies throughout the world. Equally important, the system also permits the collection and transmission of sea level data and deep ocean tsunami buoy data to operational centers in real time. This is essential for tsunami monitoring and warning. WMO also contributes to pilot studies on the use of smart sensors linked to existing undersea fiber optic cables. This could allow the collection of sustained in vast seafloor-based data, including seismic and sea level data, at a more economical cost. To build stronger early warning systems that reach the last mile, WMO and partners have also established the International Network for Multi-Hazard Early Warning Systems, which covers tsunami warnings, as well as storm surge and other meteorological phenomena. WMO has overseen the development of many such systems in developing countries, least developed countries, and small island developing states. By strengthening tsunami early warnings, communities can make better decisions, saving lives, and reducing damage to property and infrastructure.